now we will see how to correct some of this errors which are coming due to refraction and curvature reciprocal leveling is one of the best methods to eliminate this refraction or curvature errors so here what you do is suppose you want to know the elevation between point a and b or you know the reduce level of a and you want to determine the reduce level of point b so first what you do is you set up a instrument near point a itself and sight the staff on point a and then you sight the staff on point b so here at whatever reading you note down on a it won't have this refraction or curvature error because it will be very close by but whereas this b whatever reading you take on b that will have error due to refraction and curvature let us say we note down the readings and level it is set up near a so that time writing as level at a and the reading at a is denoted as h1 so that is this is h1 whatever you note down reading is h1 and here it is y1 so here we are seeing saying that this h1 will not have any error but this y1 will have an error let us denote that error by e then what we do is we take the same instrument to point b quickly and then sight point b and a so let us note down the readings as h2 at a and y2 at b so here y2 will not have any error because it is close by but whereas h2 will have errors because it is long away and it will have refraction or curvature errors so if there were no errors the difference in levels between b and a should be which i am denoting as h so that should have been equal to y1 minus h1 or y2 minus h2 but here because of this sighting at a longer distance we have this refraction or curvature errors so here we are saying that y1 will have an error of e and h2 will have an error of e so both we are saying that error will be e assuming that we transfer this instrument quickly so that the refraction error remains same and there is not much atmospheric changes which changes the refraction error so your actual difference in level will be h equal to so this one has an error e combined refraction and curvature correction will be minus 6 by 7 d squared by 2 r so it has a negative sign so this will be y1 minus e minus x1 and by this we can calculate as y2 minus x2 minus e so because this y1 has a error here we are taking that and because h2 has an error we are taking that also into consideration so adding both we have 2h equal to y1 minus e minus h1 plus y2 minus h2 minus e so this minus of minus becomes plus sign so e gets cancelled in the end we have difference in level h equal to y1 minus h1 plus y2 minus h2 by 2 so in this way we can eliminate this error due to refraction or curvature